Hey everyone, welcome to this course on Java development. My name is Usama Riaz and I'm going to be your instructor throughout these uh, lectures. So this course is targeted at anyone who wants to become an Oracle certified Java professional. So we're going to be covering quite a number of topics. We're going to be covering, for example, um, just introductory Java topics, Java syntax, primitive types, object-oriented programming, and then we're going to be moving into more advanced Java topics. So these are going to range from collections and generics to input and output, exceptions, uh, streams, and multi-threading. We're going to look at how you can speed up your programs by using parallelization and how you can make your programs a lot more robust and maintainable. So uh, let me go back actually. Before, this, this course is also targeted at anyone who wants to sharpen their Java programming skills. This is especially ideal for people who are learning Android development, for example, uh, because Android relies so heavily on Java, and you need a very solid uh, Java foundation before you can make really good Android apps. So by the end of this course, you'll not only be ready for the Oracle certification exam, but you'll also be ready to develop Android apps. OK, we're going to be using two main tools. One is called the Eclipse IDE, Integrated Development Environment. We're also going to be using something called the JDK, the Java Development Kit. The JDK is going to let us use Eclipse. It basically provides a set of functionalities that lets us develop applications in Java. Now, at the end of each section, there's going to be a couple of uh, small homework assignments. You should really try to answer these assignments and you know try to do the best job you can. Uh, there isn't going to be anyone grading them, obviously, but you should do them for your own benefit because you know just watching videos is not enough. You need to practice, practice, and practice, just like uh, you do the majority of things in life. Now, um, this is similar, or at least learning a new programming language is similar to you know learning complex math. Uh, you need to practice the problems yourself, and you need to. Um, you need to sharpen your problem solving skills before you can tackle more complicated problems. Uh, so that being said, there are these two, there are two main resources that I really like. One is called Project Euler and then another is called Hacker Rank. Both of these websites provide a large number of relatively difficult and um, you know, uh, relatively easy to, if you want, uh, programming problems that you can work on. These will really help uh, solidify your understanding of Java and of just programming concepts in general. So I really recommend that you take a look at these two when you're going throughout the course and you know just try out the problems, you know, interact with people in the communities and just uh, try to really solidify your programming skills before moving on to the next section of videos. Um, you know, in programming, the thing is, uh, it's cumulative. So you need to have a really solid foundation before you can understand more complicated topics. So I really recommend that for sections one, two, three, and four, you, you really understand the topics and you really go through some projects on Project Euler and Hacker Rank uh, before proceeding on to the later more advanced sections. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at how to set up Eclipse and the JDK, and then we're going to start programming. All right, I'll see you guys then.